We're involved in some very interesting research right now uh, at Carolina Urologic Research Center. We're involved with other uh, oral agents that uh, are looking at uh, impacts of the splice variant, also known as the ARV7. Uh, two distinct uh, 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 populations uh, and also we're looking at some additional chemotherapy advances as well as immunotherapeutic advances. We're doing a collaborative uh, work with uh, uh, Tokai, uh, with uh, a company uh, Viamet, uh, as well as uh, Bavarian Nordic Immunotherapeutics, as well as Sanofi uh, uh, Global Oncology. Uh, I think together all of these studies, in addition to the, the broad uh, approvability of what we currently have is just exceptionally good news for our patients with advanced prostate cancer. Regarding bladder cancer, uh, we're working with Genentech uh, in terms of their uh, uh, PD-1 uh, uh, platform and program. There's been some uh, exceptional work that's been presented this year at ASCO and in ESMO for patients with PD-L1 and PD-1 inhibitors. These are checkpoint inhibitors. And there's been some uh, staggeringly good results in patients with advanced bladder cancer. Also on the bladder cancer side of things, we're working with uh, several companies in terms of improved biomarkers to complement and improve upon our current use of cytology uh, as well as uh, fish. So I think that for patients with uh, NGU malignancies, uh, it's a particularly rosy picture for improvement in care. Uh, and we have to balance that and always with uh, uh, safety, tolerability, and, and, and cost effectiveness.